Aloha everybody, what is really good my dudes? Today is November 11th, 2019. We got another RuneScape update for y'all. Today we see improvements to the Linux client. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, pretty straightforward. Improvements have been made to the Linux client. So for those of you that it applies to, if you're using Ubuntu, you're going to need to update your launcher either with APT or software updater to play. Those of you using other Linux distributions, you're going to need to manually install the new launcher or wait until an update for the third party package that you might be using. The old launcher may continue to work, but you're not going to be seeing any of these improvements. Speaking of, here are a list of the improvements you can look forward to in this version general game optimizations fixed an issue with audio crackling fixed a potential crash on startup fixed incorrect icon on the game window and fixed an issue where the launcher window would not appear once the game had started so that's pretty straightforward make sure you do update your game launcher to experience those fixes with that we're going to switch on over to the patch notes and see exactly what's been changed there so let's go ahead and check it out some general fixes the pink and rainbow unicorn plushies will now be reclaimed from the angle if destroyed. Disabling guidance system hints now prevents automatically selecting the next available achievement in a path if no path is selected and the activity tracker is empty. You'll no longer be awarded compacted hides when skinning dinosaurs in Big Game Hunter if your base camp storehouse has maxed its hide capacity. Fixed an issue that prevented you from being able to reclaim an engram after destroying it from the bank. Fixed an issue which stopped a player from jumping onto Seryu's shackles if rapidly clicking them. Added a list to the revenge achievement so that players can more easily track what monsters they still have to kill. Fixed an issue that was causing the pink and rainbow unicorn plushies to clip inside the player. Replaced some items dropped by creatures within the God Wars dungeon with salvage. Fixed a tile near Champions Guild that was playing wrong music. Allowed a player to escape from legacy mode during Birthorp tutorial. Added a daily pop-up for Java to inform about the Java client no longer being supported. Moving on to some NXT fixes. Smooth the appearance of how objects fade out of view when the far edge of the view distance or close to the camera. Fixed graphical issues with some new materials. Fixed a lighting bug which prevented certain areas of terrain from being lit properly. Animations should behave more consistently over varying distances. Fixed bug with water reflections not updating correctly. Fixed a rare crash when compressing assets. Right clicking while dragging no longer cancel the drag with NXT client. Fixed a bug preventing the uncompression text per option from being available if too many other GPU heavy programs were running. Fixed a bug causing some housing decorations to appear inside walls. Tinsel's scarf now has an inventory icon. FPS drops when scrolling through bank on mobile devices have been fixed. Fixed a crash on Mac OS 10.14 Mojave. Fixed a crash on Pixel devices. Fixed a crash when occurred if the active audio device was disabled or disconnected. Clipping through objects is now smoother. Fixed bug with minimap properly loading. Issue with objects not appearing on the minimap fixed. Graphical issues with specific lighting settings on mobile have been fixed. Some changes to mobile added the same gold circle outline that exists on the player globe to the summoning globe on the combat HUD on mobile. The drag and drop areas that are part of the backpack interface on mobile have been improved for user accuracy. Fixed double cancel op being displayed on player item examine. A couple of Java fixes fixed an issue where player appearance would cause a crash and tidied up some legacy code on the back end systems. A couple of typos have been fixed in Osmond's dialogue during Our Man in the North, in the Abyssal Book, in Ziliana's Notes, in the Dimension of Disaster Quest complete interface, when trying to fill a hidey hole at the mausoleum, and corrected messaging when destroying a Master Thief stethoscope. Currently there are some known client issues so be aware, minimap assets can take longer than expected to load in, there's a chance to crash when switching between mobile detail options, the game may hang when Wi-Fi gets disconnected, possible crash on some devices on first boot up, and during the Vindicta boss encounter, Vindicta and Gorvex dragon firewall will flicker but still cause damage. That is it for the patch notes, links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below so head on over there to check it out if you want to do so. With that I'm going to wrap up the video, if you enjoyed it hit that like button, if you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on things risk related then hit that subscribe button. Anyways I appreciate you watching, I am out, aloha.